When Ursula transformed into the human Vanessa, it was clear that she was emulating Ariel in a way to manipulate Prince Eric. But some fans theorized that there was more to her human appearance than Disney originally revealed. It's believed there's a deeper connection between Ursula and a real person in the Little Mermaid universe named Vanessa. However, this unspoken connection was supposedly severed by Prince Eric or someone involved with the prince, which led Ursula to use Vanessa's form as a way to get revenge on him. According to this theory, Vanessa was actually a mermaid that Ursula had fallen in love with, but something happened down the line that caused Vanessa to either leave Ursula or, sadly, pass away. This tragedy is believed to have been caused by Prince Eric or possibly one of his ship's crewmates. Ursula then swore her revenge on the human prince and when the time came, used the image of her former lover to take down the very person that took her away from Ursula while simultaneously securing Ariel as her prisoner by preventing the two from falling in love. Understandably, this theory can be a lot to take in at first, but when you consider all all of the facts about The Little Mermaid and take a look at the theory as a whole, you'll see that it's far from impossible, to say the least. While most fans probably never thought that they would feel bad for Ursula hearing what may have happened to her former love might put her villainy into perspective. You see, according to this theory, long before the events of The Little Mermaid, Ursula managed to find one merperson who loved her and made her feel accepted. The mermaid was none other than Vanessa, and as you can most likely imagine, the theory suggests that the real Vanessa looked just like Ursula's human version version of the character, only in this case, she was a mermaid. Now, again, this is only a theory, so not much can be said about Vanessa and Ursula's time together, except that they made each other happy and their relationship was unfortunately cut short. Again, it's unclear exactly how, but the theory suggests that the mermaid Vanessa, much like Ariel's mother, was likely killed by humans who were on a large ship. Only in the case of this theory, Ursula knew that it was Prince Eric's ship that killed her. Now, it's unlikely that Eric himself would have killed the beautiful mermaid, as his character in the movie doesn't suggest that he would do such a thing, but his crew, on the other hand, is a different story, and there's a chance that Vanessa died at the hand of Eric's ship and crewmates without the prince even knowing it. That didn't stop Ursula from swearing her revenge on the prince and his kingdom, though she knew that she would need to take the throne of Atlantica from Triton first. This is when the theory starts to get into the timeline of the Little Mermaid, and believe it or not, they coincide with each other really well. You see, while it's clear that Ursula wanted to take over Atlantica to get back at Triton for the way that she was treated, she also wanted it for the power position. Having that power is what would help her seek revenge on the humans who, according to this theory, killed Vanessa, which meant Ursula had even more incentive. Ursula knew that she needed the power of Triton's trident to become the ruler of the Seven Seas, but up until that point she had never been able to face him, and that's simply because of how much more powerful that trident made him, even though according to the Broadway play, both his trident and Ursula's nautilus shell were gifted to them by their father Poseidon. That being said, Ursula could never find Triton weakness and therefore could never usurp him as the true ruler, which would finally give her the power to seek vengeance for the death of the real Vanessa. However, once Ariel came into the picture, that all changed. All of a sudden, Triton had a daughter that would openly defy her father's wishes about being in contact with things from the surface world. According to this theory, Ursula saw Ariel as not only a way to get what she wanted from Triton, but also to cripple the humans on the surface world that took her beloved Vanessa from her. This was solidified as Ursula soon discovered that Ariel was not only obsessed with humans, but she literally wanted to be part of their world. This would have allowed Ursula to begin truly planning her reign. If she played her cards right with Ariel and Prince Eric, she would have been able to take down both kingdoms with a single swoop. And as far as the theory goes, this is where the spell that Ursula used to trap Ariel came into play. As the movie showed, Ursula used her eels, flotsam, and jetsam to get Ariel to pay the sea witch a visit, which was when Ursula made the princess a proposition. Ursula claimed that she could transform Ariel into a human for a total of three days if if the mermaid allowed her voice to be trapped inside the sea witch's magical nautilus shell. You most likely remember the deal that was struck between Ariel and Ursula. Ariel had three days as a human to get her true love's kiss from Prince Eric, at which point she would permanently be transformed into a human. However, if Ariel didn't receive true love's kiss, then she would be transformed back into her mermaid form and, on top of that, she would belong to Ursula. This was perfect for Ursula because, according to this theory, she knew that controlling Ariel meant she would have control over Triton while also being able to take down Prince Eric, who supposedly was responsible for the death of the real Vanessa. The first step of Ursula's grand plan was put into motion the second that Ariel accepted her deal and was found on the beach by Eric. However, the next step would be what was truly impactful for Ursula as it honored her former love's memory while also taking down the people responsible for her death. As the movie showed fans, Ursula was aware of how close Prince Eric and Ariel were becoming despite the fact that Ariel couldn't properly communicate, so she began to intervene. And while she started out by trying to 
use flotsam and jetsam to stop them from kissing, the sea witch was saving the very best for last. It was when all else failed that Ursula pulled out all the stops and, according to this theory, decided to transform herself into the human form of the woman that she loved and who was killed by Eric's ship. As it was shown in the movie, Ursula took the form of Vanessa, whose silhouette in the fog looked eerily similar to Ariel's. Ursula used Vanessa's form to convince Eric that she was the one who had saved him from drowning at the beginning of the movie. Interestingly enough, the creators of Disney's The Little Mermaid claim to have taken the inspiration for Ursula's human form from the original novel by the same title. In the novel, Prince Eric meets a woman in a religious temple whom he falls in love with after he was saved by The Little Mermaid. And much like in Disney's version of the movie, Prince Eric truly believed Vanessa to be the woman who rescued him from what would have been certain death at sea. In the movie, Vanessa, who was really just Ursula in disguise at this point, used her magic to make the prince forget about Ariel, and in no time at all she had set herself up to marry the prince, and in doing so she would not only take away any chance that Ariel had of finding true love's kiss, but she would also be taking down Eric's kingdom while maintaining the form of the mermaid that the theory claims was killed by his people. If this theory proved to be true and Ursula had been successful with her plan, it might honestly make it go down as one of the most impressive and sinister plans in Disney's history. However, as you know, Ursula's plot to marry Prince Eric as Vanessa was quickly thwarted when Scuttle discovered her true identity. The seagull then took the information of who Vanessa really was to Triton, who, with the help of various sea creatures, stopped Ursula's wedding. However, it was too late, and by the time everyone realized the truth, Ariel was forced to become a mermaid again and become Ursula's servant. Though her plan to use Vanessa's likeness to take down Prince Eric's kingdom might not have panned out as she intended it to, all wasn't lost. As the movie showed, Ursula used Ariel exactly how she intended to. She practically used the Little Mermaid as a bargaining chip to have King Triton trade his life for the life of his daughter. And once he did, there was nothing stopping Ursula from taking the throne and the powerful trident for herself. However, it was at that point that Eric tried to kill Ursula with a harpoon, and when Ursula retaliated, she accidentally killed her own henchman, Flotsam and Jetsam. At that point, the sea witch had lost it all. According to this theory, she had lost the love of her life, Vanessa, and now she had just lost the only two creatures in the entire sea that had remained loyal to her. Little did she realize her next action would be what directly led to her downfall. Had she remained her normal sized and used her power wisely, she most likely would have easily taken out Eric and his ship. However, she was enraged and used the trident to turn herself into a massive sea monster. And ironically enough, Ursula was killed when Eric's ship rammed into her, meaning that Ursula's life ended in an eerie similar way that this theory claims her former love Vanessa's life ended. What do you think about that though? Did Ursula base her human form on a lover from her past named Vanessa? Or did she simply base her on Ariel to trick the prince into thinking that she was the one who saved him at the beginning of the movie? Make sure you let me know in the comments below.